swear to God, my forehead does not look this big in real life. And then I see it on here and I'm like, holy crap, I've got a freaking landing strip on my face. Hey guys, it is Liam, it is Thursday, and this week is an advice week. I'm going to be teaching you how to shave your pits. That's... that's not right. I'm going to be teaching you how to shave your dick. That's... that's not right either, is it? No. I'm going to be teaching you how to shave your face. Aren't you so excited? Wow. August and Emery. Wait. Need to put on a shirt. I'm exposed. Oh no, you can see my beautiful, my beautiful armpit fat that comes from this binder. Clothes, yay! So August and Emery pretty much covered all of the important things to do when shaving and what to use in their video. So I am just going to show you what I use and all of that good stuff. Currently I'm using Neutrogena Men Sensitive Shave Cream and Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I'm not being sponsored or paid by Neutrogena Men, but yes, this is what I'm using. I actually have not used this shave cream yet because I have been using Proactive Plus Shave Gel because I'm using Proactive Plus on my face, but it just burned my skin like a mother effer, and I didn't really want to put too many acne treatment things on my face. And I've done a lot of research about shaving with sensitive skin and I read that it's best to use like a foaming facial cleanser and I tried that but I really didn't like it. I didn't feel like it protected my skin enough. So on to trying these things. It soothes and protects skin from razor irritation on contact. This calms and soothes sensitive skin on contact. Oil free, alcohol free to help prevent redness razor bumps and ingrown hairs. Skin looks and feels healthy and comfortable. I have used this and it's, I, I like it. It kind of smells really strong and manly. You know that stereotypical manly smell. This is what it smells like. And I think that it's best not to put things with fragrances on your face because it could possibly irritate your skin. But alas, these both smell like a manly man. This didn't irritate my skin when I put it on, so let's hope that this doesn't either. And yes, now you know what I use. And as far as razors go, I use this like cheap Gillette disposable razor. It has two blades. The fewer the blades, the better, because if you have more blades, that's more of a chance for irritation. And I very much want to get a safety razor, which only has one blade, but I just haven't got around to doing that yet. Uh, but these are also the razors that my dad has used his whole life, and they seem to work fine for him. He uses this shaving cream that you saw in the beginning, Gillette Foamy Sensitive Skin, and that has worked well for him his whole life. A two. Oh, and as far as uh, this post shave balm stuff goes, it is very important to put something on your face after you shave that will calm the irritation and give you moisture because it is likely your face is going to be dry after shaving so definitely put some sort of moisturizing thing on there after you shave. Like August and Emery mentioned, shave with the grain, not against it. I actually have not watched Chris's video or Chase's video. So they have probably mentioned a lot of important things as well that I have also mentioned in this video. This whole week is probably just going to be really redundant. So yes, that's all that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm. Ow. Oh, oh lord, I'm breaking things.